Okay, I am in my 1982 Fleetwood Motorhome. <clears throat> and I'm currently on a charger out front. And I've got a weird, weird situation. I've got one battery over here. Wires up. The other battery is under the hood. This is the battery that's under the hood. We're at 100% capacity. It's still taking in 10 amps charging. Now the batteries are connected in series and I'll show you that in a second. Not series, in parallel. Okay, 5 amps is going to the back. I, I, don't, I don't understand this. Let me draw you a picture. We've got, let's say this is our camper. We've got a battery back here. We've got a generator behind it. Okay, my converter is over here. Okay, and then up here we have the start battery. And there's another 100 amp lithium battery to match that one. Now the way that it's wired apparently is the generator comes into here. The converter feeds into there. And then there's a, a wire that goes up. Like that. Okay, I currently have 60 watts of solar here. 60 solar on the ground feeding that battery. Now what's happening is we're getting four, I've got it set to 15, oh I also have a charger. I have a charger here because it's cloudy out and apparently this doesn't register small amounts of amperage. So I had to put something on it. We've got 15 amps going in to that battery, plus whatever the solar power is, is putting out. This battery is taking in, this one's taking in 10 amps, and it's full. This one is getting 5 amps, and it is at 90 two percent. Now I don't understand why the second battery is turn that so you can see it a little bit better maybe. Okay so I don't understand why this back battery is taking five amps. This is taking ten when it's already full. Right now we've got 4.9 going to the back sucking up 9.9 .9 and it's 100% full already. So if it's, and it's listed as charging, uh, I don't know why this battery up front is taking 10 amps other than that's where the charger is hooked to it. And this one, when I discharge these batteries, that's the other thing, I drop this down to 92%, this stayed at 100, and they're they're tied together. So I'm a little unsure about I don't know what's going on here why is this one's the only one that's going down when I use it and this one is charging when it's full now brand new to lithium here so it's probably something I don't understand that's going on 10.8 amps now on this, on this front one um, oh, a cloud went by and it dropped to 10 so I guess the solar is doing something so I don't understand if you understand why this battery would take the entire load of the camper leave this one alone this one was sitting idle while this one I had fans on I had all the lights on everything it was pulling from this one and nothing from this one and when I'm charging this is taking the bulk of it when it's already full and getting hot 26 degrees Celsius is that bad minimum temperature 22 maximum temperature 22 but current temperature is 26 I don't speak communist that's what the C stands for right 26 degrees C 
Well, anyway, that's my problem. I run the generator, this charges that battery, but then it stopped charging it. This was at 92% the generator with the converter running, it wasn't charging it, so we got, got some really weird things going on here. Oh, sun came out, 11 amps, 11.1. .1. Not sure what's going on here. If you know, please put it in the comments. Um, we got ants. Ants and a dead mouse. I can smell it in here somewhere. We're having fun. Yeah, is this what lithium's supposed to do? I know there's a, a long line of wires between them, but it's only about, I'd say, less than 20 feet. Uh, now, my, I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the charger back here on this one and see what the amperage is. If it goes this 5 and this 10, then we'll know it's just the distance. But something's going on. Something is definitely going on. So anyway, here's a little view of the camper. I've got the front closed off because I don't want it to get sun faded. Yep, my grandparents bought this in 1982. I made that fan for them, that blue fan. And it's still in here. Three generations, this camper has seen three generations of my family. Looks like I gotta clean up there. I like it. Thanks for watching.